Hey Sagittarius and welcome to my channel. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Sagittarians for the month of October 2018 in love. Let's see. Ooh, okay. First card that flipped is the Seven of Cups in reverse. So you guys are having um, this attitude towards life that um, figuring it out, no longer confused by what it is that you want in life, what somebody else is thinking about you. Um, you are, you used to fear change. You would avoid it at all costs, but your new attitude towards life is, um, you're going to roll with the punches. You're going to take it as it comes. You're going to allow this change, this transformation, and this new life, this new beginning um, to come forward towards you um, without trying to stop it in any way. Uh, also, you guys are dealing with a soulmate. Your guys' confusion around a relationship is coming to an end. Um, you do have choices uh, between two or more people, um, but you are going to um, decide who you want to spend your life with, who you want to start this next step with, take this, this journey of life with. All right. Um, you guys, there could be some stress around finances. Um, your... Uh, you just, you're really anxious. You're really, uh, nervous about the future, about your income, um, finances is in any way you could be losing sleep over it. Um, it's all going to work out for some of you. You guys are coming into a union with somebody you've been waiting on. That's who you could be confused about or, or was in the past, had a lot of sleepless nights over it. Um, but this is all going to work out for the better. You guys are thinking practical. You are um, looking for the toward the future and doing things right is what I'm hearing. You're also um, setting the the building blocks, the paving the way for a solid foundation for um, your new life to be built on. And some of you are finding a new home in the month of October. And this is very exciting for you. You're thinking outside the box. You are um, preparing for the future with a soulmate that is returning back to your life and offering you, um, for some of you, it's marriage. For some of you, um, it's just a the next step in a relationship. You guys um, have been finding emotional healing in this time of separation, in this time of being single. Um, and in this in this quiet time, in this uh, state of quiet, you guys have found inner peace. You found yourself. Um, in all the darkness, you see this card is, is a dark card. Um, in all this darkness, you have found your light. You have found yourself and you have found your path in which way to start moving. Um a lot of a lot of healing has gone on in this time of separation, and you're finally starting to feel emotional comfort. You're finally starting to feel um, like you're okay on your own. For some of you, you could be um, entertaining more than one person. You could be um, trying to decide be between two. There's good points and bad points um, of each person. Obviously, we all have a shadow and a light side. But um, for your pleasure, your entertainment, you guys have been um, entertaining more than uh, one possibility. Now, I'm not saying there's cheating going on or uh, because I don't see it in that way. It's just you're keeping your options open. You are going to narrow it down, however, because your first card out was coming out of confusion, getting out of the illusion that it, your path had to go a certain way with a certain person. And when you were, um, when you figured out that you can't control 
what the universe, um, how their timing works. When you let go of that control, that's when this person comes back. And after you've healed and found balance in your life again. Um, you guys are getting over this emotional heartbreak of the past. You are part of a third party that caused a lot of stress and anxiety for you guys. Um, you're finally understanding why this all had to happen. Um, you have gone through stages. At first, you were confused, sad, depressed, lonely. Then you were mad, um, confused, still full of questions. And then um, you went into leaving that behind and, and going into this, this healing phase. And even though there was a lot of ups and downs, you are starting to be able to get your life back on track um, because you're understanding the path. You're understanding the steps, why this had to happen. Um, you're no longer angry or bitter towards this person. You're thankful because in this time of darkness, in this time of sadness, you found you. You figured it out on what makes you whole again. And it's not from another person. It's it's within yourself. And you, so you're getting over this heartbreak. You're getting over this betrayal of this third party. And, um, and you are now uh, thinking in a whole new direction, a whole new light. In your um, partner position, they are the Ace of Pentacles. Now, I know Sagittarius and Virgo have had a strong connection the last month or so in your readings, but Virgo's very first card out um, was the Ace of Pentacles. So, and then it comes out in your partner. So, um, most definitely, this person is starting a new journey. This person is starting a new life. It's a gift from the universe. They have experienced the tower moment. Um, they are now setting foot on their um, their new path. And it's, it's gifted to them from the universe. And it's right under your four of wands. So most definitely this is a soulmate, um, twin flame connection feeling. Um, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, it's just a very solid relationship that you have... Um, worked very hard to manifest into your life. All right. Um, for some of you, uh, you're not taking the risks you need to take within your uh, work, your business. You could be stuck in a job that you hate. You could be starting a new business and you just don't have the, um, the, strength or not strength, the courage to, to put it all out there, to take the risk. This is, um, has to do with your finances. So it's time to work hard, work hard on your dream. Never, never let your dream of what you want to, um, create die out because even if you're not doing that full time right now, keep working towards it because it's going to come towards you when you, um, put, put in the hard work that, is needed to um, to make this a success because the risk is worth worth the reward. Um, in your guys's inner vision, your wider vision, Virgo also had this card in their uh, position, in the same position. You guys are looking at the world a whole new direct, a whole new way. Like I said, you found a whole different light to look at things, um, taking things slow, um, doing things right this time, not rushing into anything. Um, thinking every move through, very calculated um, to to make this relationship successful. For some of you, you could have rushed into it before and causing a third party situation, and that caused you stress and heartache. And you're scared to that. That's what this is going to be again with these illusions. But you're going to see um, in your time of meditation and prayer, um, and just in life in general, you're going to see that. This is an illusion. This is the real deal. In your inner strength or inner self, um, you have the strength in reverse. So you have to face that fear. You, you should not fear being hurt 
by this person. Um, what you should fear is not taking the risk and in turn losing out on, on true love, on a love of a lifetime. So it's time to face those fears, fears um, because this is sent to you from the divine with the um, infinity symbol. Yeah, it's, it's time for you to take control of the situation and to face your fears because you're going to miss out on this beautiful relationship, this soulmate, twin flame, life partner situation that is here. If you do not um, allow those fears to subside and to settle somewhere else in your friendships and um, re close relationships, you guys have the chariot. So um, some of you are purging. You're moving out of uh, these toxic relationships within friends and family, and you're moving forward. You're leaving them behind because they don't share your vision that you now see um, with this hanged man. They don't share that enlightenment. They don't share that vision. So um, you are moving away from those people. Um, also, some of you could have friends or family that do not agree with this relationship, um, with it being connected to the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Um, some people don't share your vision or uh, think that this relationship is a good idea. You are going to leave those friends and family behind. This could also be your partner. So um, they could be moving towards you uh, because their family and friends are not supportive of this relationship. <clears throat> um, here's that fear again in your uh, isolation and detachment position you guys have the fool in reverse so you're holding back giving this person a new beginning a new start out of fear both these cards are speaking of fear you're scared of being hurt you opened yourself wide open once before and you ended up in the nine of swords you ended up in your head in your feelings, um, and having to rebuild yourself. I do, however, um, with you coming out of this heartbreak and the fool right under it, um, I do see it. Let me get one more for the fool here since it's your last card. Not that many. Why is the fool here? Okay. So, um, some of you uh, are fearful of giving this a new a new start, a fresh um, start, because <clears throat> this person had put you at a, in a crossroads. This person um, has has made you look within yourself and see what it is that you truly want. But you're not that same person that they left before. You um, have gone through a transformation. You are a more enlightened and ascended. Um, soul in this journey. You have already uh, worked very hard to purge out what it is that didn't work for you. And now you're in a good place. You are in a good place within yourself. Your heart is healed. You're finding balance. You've found enlightenment. And you're scared that this person is going to um, come in and break you all over again. But this earth sign that's coming towards you is not. This earth sign is going to offer you stability. He's going to offer you something tangible. They're going to offer you everything that they have, um, no matter how big or small. What's theirs is yours, and most importantly, their heart. So they're not going to break it this time. They know what they have to lose if they lose you. They themselves have also gone through a transformation, and they went within. They had a spiritual rebirth. They were at a crossroads and they had to go within and choose which direction do I go in? Do I go back from where I came, where I'm, it's, it's tolerable, or do I set out in search of the person who I can change the world with, who this person is my whole world? And they are coming towards you. They have come through the spiritual um, enlightenment and this rebirth and this Prince of uh, Pentacles. Uh, very strong Virgo here with your placement of uh, your par or your partner's Ace of Pentacles, and that was their first card out. So, as well as you both had the um, the Four of Swords in your guys's uh, thinking and understanding. So, 
what but it does not have to be an earth sign whoever this person is that is coming back to you from the past this is a relationship a third party situation you have been in in this lifetime whoever it is that's coming in for you from the past they are stable they are grounded they are sure of what they want and they are heading towards you they may be moving slow but all the same they will be coming um to offer you a relationship it's up to you to face your fears and give this person a second chance or to risk the chance of missing out on a love of a lifetime what advice do you have for our Sagittarius in the month of October? Very beautiful month for you guys um, in October. Big opportunities coming for you guys. Um, be watching for your channeled messages because there are some awesome ones. Uh, awesome opportunities coming your way. So you guys' card that came out was stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Believe that this is real. Know that this is real. Positive thinking. Don't talk yourself out of one true blessing. Um, your bottom of the deck is give this relationship a chance. So work on this partnership. Work on um, having trust and faith in this person because they have worked hard and overcame a lot of obstacles to come back to you. That's your advice. Probably go ahead now. Whoa. All right, you guys both had, <clears throat> or you guys had come out the ringmaster of scrutiny and the well watcher. Your guys' bottom of the deck is the fire prince. So, let's see. I'm going to read out of the book for these cards mm -hmm. just because I think Colette Barrett Reed does an awesome job. So, um, when the well watcher signals the need to go within, they are calling for you to go within. And contemplate the true source of power in the world, which he reminds you is that of the divine. This message is to let you know that you're being called to the well, and this unseen power will be there and will be yours to align with. This affirmation and prayer will invite the divine to bring miracles and resolution to your life. You will know the way forward by the still, small voice within. The divine also may answer your call by sending others to help guide you. So speak this um, affirmation um, daily through October. Thy will be done through me for the highest good of all and for the true manifestation of my purpose. When this person comes back to you, I, I had said earlier that this felt like a soulmate, twin flame, life partner situation. When the two of you come back together for a reunion, this is your new beginning. This is your new life gifted to you by the universe. And in this gift of abundance and success and happiness and love and joy, you are here to complete your soul's purpose. You guys are here to do something for the collective um, in, in this ascension process. This is what your gift from the universe is. So you're being called in the month of October to um, to gain wisdom, to know the power of the divine, and to call to your angels to help you manifest your true purpose, your soul's purpose with you and your um, partner. Your second card out was Ringmaster of Scrutiny. The Ringmaster of Scrutiny is all about the details. Look closely and pay attention to the smallest elements of what What's being presented to you on your path? It's in these details, not the broad strokes, that you'll find the breathtaking beauty and perfection in what you observe. This ally is on your side to point you to the deeper meaning of what unfolds in your life, and he reminds you that every moment counts. Staying present in this perfect moment, observing the minute things, leads you to manifest your highest good and your greatest desires. Grand gestures are for other times. It's the small acts that really count right now. So both these cards, you're being called to begin your soul's purpose. Um, with this reunion, uh, it is now time to, to take your knowledge, your wisdom, and move forward and allow 
your clear vision and details of this universe to be shared with those, um, uh, those of the collective. Um, your bottom of the deck card was the fire prince. Um, when the fire prince arrives as your ally, he lets you know that he represents the invisible forces behind all manner of manis manifestation. He brings you the gift of optimism. You will rightly be inspired to move forward and take confident and assertive action to reach your goals. Envisioning the path of the highest good with the optimistic outlook, the fire prince also brings you the gift of a miracle. Things come together as if by magic to create the reality you seek. You have every reason to be hopeful. Move forward knowing that you have everything you need and more. Just remember to share the enthusiasm, believe in others, and be optimistic for them too. And your good fortune will most definitely multiply in the form of your soul's purpose and your destiny. Now, I don't know how, what three cards could better put this together for you, as well as um, your angel card. Stay optimistic about your love life. This card is all about optimism. Believe it. Believe it's here for you. Believe you deserve it. And believe in the power of love and miracles because they are coming for you, my friends, in October. I hope you guys enjoyed this message. As always, thank you for coming to my channel and supporting my, uh, my purpose here with helping by doing these readings. I hope you guys enjoy them, and I hope you will return. If you haven't subscribed, please do. For those of you who already have, thank you, thank you, thank you. I send you love, light, and God bless.